Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have good news today. The truck has restored itself, my 98 Nissan. So as you remember, this is the battery. This is the fusible link fuse box. Um, and on the inside here, I just want to give you an idea of what we did to cure the problem that we had last week. So what happened was we would stick the key in and you know, we still hear that beep from the door being open, but once we turn it to the accessory mode, there was nothing, you know, and so that kind of kept us from being able to start the car or do anything with the car. So how we fixed it was, I, I can't recommend this as a fix, but how it fixed itself was we took one of these probes, you connect this to the positive and negative end of the battery, and whatever you kind of touch in the car, it'll determine whether it's a ground connection or a hot connection. And on the interior fuse box, you know, as we're going through here, we noticed that a lot of these were, when, when it's off, it's in the ground position, and these were in the hot position. But there are some of these that weren't really working so we turn it on to the accessory mode, no power, and as I was just poking at it with the probe, the, uh, the little connection right there, somehow it triggered something to enable the car to come back on. So, I mean, it's, I don't know how it fixed itself. Scientifically speaking, I was studying the, the circuit diagram and everything, and but, that amounted to a lot of nothing. Um, so yeah, I if, if ever you run into this problem for the 12 Nissan Frontier owners out there of this vintage, um, I hope this helps you, man. Just, you know, the, the main fuse, the 80 amp, that powers the heavy stuff what was intact. The 40 amp that powers everything else was intact. And it turned out it was something crazy in here. Just a very small circuit that disabled the entire vehicle. Anyway, I just want to make a short video to document this so that way we have a little bit of closure. All right, hope this helps you. Good luck.